Back in the 50s, I used to dive out of the Palm Beach Inlet and from the Breakers Hotel uh, area down, down where the pier was, from that area up to uh, the, the uh, hole in the wall area, there had to be, there had to be at least a uh, thousand big Jewfish. Every time I went out the inlet, I would bring in eight or ten Jewfish. Every time I went out, and I went out every, every day. So that was a lot of Jewfish. I used to bring in hundreds of them. And no, no matter how many I killed, there were always somebody, somebody taking his place. There was always somebody replaced. I would kill one, and the next day I'd come back, there'd be one, another one right in the same spot, same ledge. So I, I, I have really no idea other than to say that there had to be uh, in the neighborhood of a thousand of them. The size of the fish that we captured would, the fish would mostly be a 300 pound live weight, which would come out to about a 200 pound clean fish, something like that. I would, I would capture between five to 10 fish a day, depending on whether I went on two or one or two trips. Along with that, there were four or five other boats doing the same thing. Some of my years, uh, on a good year, we'd get 100,000 pounds of fish in a year. So that would, you know, could be as many as a half a million pounds were, were killed in the, in the Hope Sound and Jupiter and Palm Beach area in one year.